MSNBC's Martin Bashir has resigned more than two weeks after this. Had him well flogged and pickled, then made Hector another slave, S-H-I-T, in his mouth. In on-air commentary about former Alaska Governor Sarah Palin, the now former MSNBC host brought up an appalling form of punishment a British slave owner used on his slaves. If anyone... Uh, well, guess what? Guess what? You know what you, you know I'm talking about. You, Martin Bashir. That's why I put you in, um, inside my naughty list. <sighs> Anyways, uh, I hate to break this to you, but start the music, shall we? It's time for the time. Okay, if I were to step on me again, I'm going to come Oh boy. Alright. Okay, let's go, let's do it. Somebody got to say it. That's why I don't think it's a matter of what I'm going to do with that. And that's why the real system is here. Let's see here. This is the final closing time factor. Video commentary thoughts. Hello America, and welcome to the Glenn Beck program in the Plains. And uh, <laughs> how are you? Take them for answers. Um, it, because I know it's going to be naughty or nice segment, so let's do it, shall we? Pick the theme music. music, if you don't mind at all, trust me. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Right, he's a stupid buffoon I ever heard in my entire life. That's why Martin Bashir quits. Yay! No more. That's right. He's naughty. That's right. Martin Bashir is naughty. Here's the rest of this. Here's the rest of this uh, stupid soundbite from you know who. You know who? That's right. Newsy. That I just posted on my Time Factor website. If you don't believe me, listen to this. Dave, S-H-I-T in his mouth. In on-air commentary about former Alaska Governor Sarah Palin, the now former MSNBC host brought up an appalling form of punishment a British slave owner used on his slaves. If anyone truly qualified for a dose of discipline from Thomas Thistlewood, then she would be the outstanding candidate. She being Palin. Yes, he suggested someone defecate in Sarah Palin's mouth, which he apologized for, but which earned him criticism from many who also questioned whether Bashir's network would punish the host. Wednesday afternoon, Mediaite confirmed Bashir had resigned. In an emailed statement to the blog, Bashir wrote in part, It is my sincere hope that all of my colleagues at this special oh, network sorry, sorry, will be allowed to focus please. on the issues that matter without the distraction of myself or my ill-judged comments. Wait a now, see what I'm talking about? Do you see what I'm talking about? This is going to be the worst. Mark Bashir is, is gone forever. He has resigned. MS, MS LSD. So, you know, that's right. The liberal media buys precious, precious people. Yeah. That's why Mark Bashir gets nothing for Christmas. He's a naughty guy. He, he, he gets, gets, gets a lump of coal. So you better remember that, Martin Bashir. And you owe Sarah Palin an apology for saying something, something very stupid. Very, very stupid at all. You know why? Because it doesn't even make sense at all. Period. This is going to be the worst thing I ever heard in my entire life. Oh, God. And now he, he's leaving. Yeah, yeah. Stupid. Anyways, now, now, be, and, and then, here goes the nicest part. Here goes the nicest part I ever heard. Because, uh, Rick tried to tag me on, on, um, tag me in this picture 
on Facebook.com for OSC, Omaha Step On Course. And that's why, that's why I say something very nice to the Omaha Stephonic Chorus. There I said it, Rick. Yeah, you. I know you're watching. I know you're watching. You hear me? I know you're watching, Rick. Rick, and you might think you try to you try to attack me with those OSC pictures. Well, guess what? You know, you might be inside a rude awakening from. Waking from now on, if I just say so myself, <clears throat> and that's why I try to post this picture. If you, if you see this, if you see this profile picture of me, yes, but don't believe me. Don't believe me if I'm doing something very, very silly. And uh, and that's why uh, Michael Lyon to in interviews Greg Zelke. K I O S, and um, this guy's good, and I want to hear this video first about that. So when I come back, so so you can hear this uh, uh this Friday on an, on an all new Time Factor radio show. It's also so so to my final closing Time Factor video, Friday video cover thoughts. Thank God it's Friday. Thank God. Woo. Yes. And then <laughs> so that's why O S C. That's right, Omaha Stephanie Chorus. Uh, Greg Zelke and the Omaha Stephanie Chorus gives in, put put inside inside my no, uh, nice list of things. Trust me about that. And uh, also Chris Pierce, Chris J. Pierce. You know what I'm talking about. It's all about host of viewpoints, and and Chris tried to attack me. <laughs> On purpose, and purpose, and I, I, and I checked on my Facebook, and he tried to attack me. Yeah, that's right. Uh, keep, that means I'm the runner of Viewpoint Television Production Crew. Yeah, that's right. Running the cameras, all that stuff. Stuff, and <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. So, <laughs> but anyways, I, I, I will. Uh, that's why, like Chris. You know, he, he has his um, opinions right and all that stuff. And uh, and he lives with his wife, Heather, and all that stuff. And uh, and and one day, because he, ha he has to go, go to surgery, uh, probably this week or next week, whatever it is. And um, my friends at Viewpoint Television Production Crew will email me because he's a... Yeah, you know, he's gonna get out of the hospital or what? Because, well, uh, you know, Mike, Sherry, Dean, Roger, my friend's viewpoint television crew has this to say, and I'll keep in touch our prayers for Chris Pierce. So, every, every silver, silver has a has a lining in it. Because Chris Pierce says, and the point of view, respect it. So that's what Chris Pierce. That's why I'm, I'm going to put Chris Pierce inside my nice list of things. So, and that that means keep in touch our prayers for anyone else. Anyone. Just let it be nice. Um, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm, and we can't be civilized. So. Very proud of it. So, trust me about that. So, that's all for today.
Time because uh, I have getting inside a couple of newspapers. If I can say so myself, we, we don't have don't have time for getting inside our newspaper this Saturday on on new Chai Factor Town Show. But I get inside this. Um, here it is. Oh, quickly, here it is. Oh yeah. What comes after the gunfire? Well, you guessed it. That's right, you guessed it. And uh, here it is. Here's a Detroit Rollings lifts a uh, a shield tensions for this one. This is what happens. <laughs> okay. Oh, we get a Saturday newspaper. Uh, now, um. Here's something you I want to know about a thinking history about this once invisible trail. You can see it? Yes, according to Omaha World Herald. And, uh, uh, oh yeah, one more. Let's try one more. Drones economic takes flight. Well, you might think it's so smart about Amazon Prime Air. Talk also about drones. Was this, this is the answer to your question? Well, I hope so. <laughs> well, I will do something about this newspaper thing. Uh, trust me about that. Trust me about that this Saturday. Anyways, we're almost out of time. And, uh, and don't forget, um, I'll be at Christmas. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be at St. Cecilia's. I'm doing part three of this one. So you just just said to trust me about that. And well, that because anyone else. Because anyways, we got... Uh, we got the 18th annual Christmas at the Cathedral. Is that uh, starting this weekend? With you know who? That's right. That's right. Marie Reviews Bauer and the the moving company of UNO. And the tickets, you know, it says tickets inside that. And you want more information? Give it. Give us a call at 402. Three nine eight one seven six 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 and click on the on the internet at Omaha dot org and so his Facebook page as well. Well, for Christmas at the cathedral this weekend at Saint Cecilia's Cathedral. Oh yes, and that's all I can say. Anyways, we're almost out of time. Time for us to say goodnight, but. Tomorrow, thank God, it's Friday. For all new final closing Time Factor Friday video conference thoughts. And don't forget, this weekend on my Time Factor radio show, I want to talk about the war on Christmas. The war on Christmas. Who's war? Everybody's war. Whatever it is. Well, we'll find out what it is. And don't forget more on trivia. It's back. As we turn. Trust me about that. And, uh, <laughs> and lots more. And don't forget my Time Factor television show, Glenn Beck is back. Yes, he's back. That's right. He's back. And I'll find out what the musical guest is. So it's all good. That's all I can say. Anyways, don't forget to Facebook and follow LH Music, Facebook.com and Twitter.com. You know my username, LH Music Time. And so is my Time Factor website, which I'll be working on it. And I'll finish up, if I do say so myself, at Time Factor at LH Music Time Factor. LH Music Time. Weebly.com. And so is you know who, that's right. Facebook page at Facebook.com slash Time 2013. That's it, we're almost out of time. Thank God it's Friday. I'll see you Friday at Daily Motion. And this weekend's Time Factor Radio Show. So we meet again, LH Music is about to sign off. Go with God's blessings. And we're out the door. Bye-bye for now. See ya.